this life with you Right now we are going over to Madeline Island, which is the island in the Lake of Superior, Superior Lake, and we're in Bayfield, Wisconsin. We just got here and we grabbed some quick food and then we got in line for the ferry because there was one leaving out at 1230 and we want to go over to Madeline Island so we can start exploring that. Yes, so Madeline Island has a state park I think it has a beachfront, and then there are some shops there, some restaurants, but we're hoping to just see the island because there's an island here and we gotta see it. We can't come here and not see it. So that was the number one first thing to do. We're here on a Saturday and there are more ferry times on Saturday to get to the island and then to get back to Bayfield. That's why we chose Saturday. Sunday there are ferries that go out but you have limited options for ferry times and that meant we wouldn't have enough time actually spent on the island before we had to get back in line to get back to the mainland. Tonight we're going to be staying at a bed and breakfast in Bayfield, the Written House. And we don't know the history to it yet but we know that it's historic and it is a part of this town because it is on Written House Avenue and the <laughs> what was that? Are we moving? And the house looks amazing. Anyway, those are the plans. Madeline Island is a part of the Apostle Islands, right? I think it's the only one that is not technically a part of the Apostle Islands. But very close. Yeah, it's close to all of them. The Apostle Islands would be great to explore in the summertime. You can buy charters that will take you around so you can tour all of the islands or you can rent a kayak and you can kayak around them all. We're gonna do what we can here today by seeing Madeline Island. The ferry is open um, and there's actually people who live on Madeline Island. And in the winter time, in the dead of the winter when the lake is frozen over, the ferry's like pathway becomes a roadway for cars to go from Wisconsin to Madeline Island, which is crazy to think about. It was very chilly up there, but really cool to have kind of a little deck that you could uh, sit on the benches up there and then see us going quickly away from Bayfield and over to Madeline Island. <clears throat> Whose birthday is it today? Oh yeah, it's my, uh, it's my birthday, the big 4-0. <laughs> I don't look it, I know, you know, a secret was told to me years ago from a wise fella that the best way to stay young is to lie about your age. He's ridiculous. So it looks like here at the campground, or at the Big Bay State Park, you can actually camp here even during the winter. And so they do have different rates for Wisconsin residents and out-of-state residents, um, but the non-residents, which is what we are, you can camp in a non-electric site for 20 bucks, an electric site for 35 bucks. So not too bad, really. Here you go, birthday boy. Get your ding dong. Thank you.
think this is the lamest state park. <laughs> you can't have pets here. You can't have bikes here. You can't camp. You can't do campfires. No, that's just on this boardwalk. <laughs> So right now we're doing the beach boardwalk and what's kind of cool about the boardwalk which we didn't even know is they have it what do they call it um, guided yeah it's a guided boardwalk so there's little areas that you stop by and read their sign and they tell you a little bit about the area which is always fun to learn about a new place that we're at That is so cool. Tell them where we're at. We're at Big Bay State Park on Madeline Island and we are at the point, which is super cool because you see all these cliffs that are lining uh, Lake Superior. And right now there is ice on them from the waves crashing and freezing. So it looks really cool. Island Queen is back, our ferry. We were a little worried because we're the last ferry out of the island and our lodging is on the mainland, so we could have been stuck here. Yeah, I would say Madeline Island, I'm sure, is really cool to visit um, in the summer, but right now it's pretty basic. Yep, cold, rainy, a lot of the shops are closed, either do because it's the winter season and COVID's playing a little factor. The Big Bay State Park was really beautiful, so definitely a place to go. And in the summer, I'm sure it's really awesome because then you can play on the beach there. Yeah. We're checking into the Rittenhouse Inn, and it is just now starting to dump some snow. So it'll be good to get into somewhere nice and warm after doing some cold hiking. It's really a cute building. Okay, so we were sent up the road to the little chateau. Apparently they have a whole nother house um, with rooms in that. And so that's where we are. We did not know that. Um, but it's also another cute little kind of Victorian looking house just behind me. So we're going to get checked in and um, then hopefully go find something to eat.
for Ryan's birthday, we decided to come to a small town called Bayfield, Wisconsin. And we booked a bed and breakfast in town called the Written House. And so we're gonna take you on a little tour of our room. It is a super cool bed and breakfast with lots and lots of history. So our room is here in the ballroom. The ballroom is on the third floor of the house. They really did used to use this as a ballroom for their guests. The rest of the rooms up here were used as activity rooms for their guests, um, like a game room, things like that. So it's super cool to learn that history. But you enter into the room through a huge wooden door, all original. The owner even said that the finish on all of the wood is the original finish. It was in that good of a shape. So you come in the door, you see the the color scheme of this room, the pinks and the greens and the blues, they're so cute. It all goes together, the bedspread, the shades, and even the bathroom. So this ballroom used to be a square room and then they added this bathroom, which I'm gonna show you. So you come through this door and you have your pink bathroom, complete with a pink tub and all. Now this was added on later in the process but they did a really good job of keeping the aesthetic here in the bathroom making it feel like it was a part of the original house Ooh. now for the bed test it's super comfy and what's awesome about this room is that you get to wake up to a wall of windows behind me and it has snowed this evening so it's going to look beautiful in the morning not to mention a fireplace right over there this fireplace is just for looks, but what is really cool about this spot of the room is that what the fireplace is sitting on was actually the original band stage. So you can imagine all these people dressed up in their ball gowns and their best suits and the band standing right here playing for the guests. Now you might think that this ballroom is a little small and it's actually because there weren't a lot of guests invited to these types of events, which I didn't know. I thought there would be a full floor filled with people, but this was a small ballroom for a small few amount of people. And I don't know about you, but I wish that I got to go to one of those. Sounds like a blast. This bed and breakfast is really unique. It was built in 1907 by a logging baron, and it has a lot of character. The logging baron had exquisite taste. You can tell because there is attention to detail throughout this entire house. And I think one of Ryan and I's favorite details about this house is that there is a button on the floor of the dining room that you can tap with your foot when you're either done with your food or you're ready for more to be brought out. Isn't that wild? So that's the end of our tour room, but if you're looking to stay or to come and visit Bayfield, Wisconsin, we highly recommend staying here. We will leave the information and a link down in our description because we have thoroughly enjoyed our time here. Right when we first got to the house, the owner actually gave us a tour of the main floor, filling us in on a lot of the history that brings this place to life. So if you are looking for an awesome place to stay, check this out. But that's it for tonight and join us tomorrow when we explore more of Bayfield, Wisconsin. Good morning. It's the next day. We had an awesome sleep and we're getting ready to leave the bed and breakfast. But we remembered before we leave, we have to show you this wardrobe because as soon as I saw it, I was thinking Chronicles of Narnia and it's just Gorgeous. I mean, what a piece of furniture to have. And it literally feels like it's going to transport you into another world. So we're getting ready to head over to the sister building to the old written house in where they have complimentary breakfast when you book a room. So we have breakfast time for 9.30 or 9.45 and we're going to go check that out. Alrighty, so we had a great breakfast at the Written House Inn. So we actually ate supper and breakfast there. Breakfast was complimentary, which was really awesome because it was exquisite. It was so good. We had this French toast with this kind of bourbon, peaches, 
And then the chef special for today, which was like the steak and eggs. It was just really good. And then our waiter was really a, such a great fellow and he told us about some different places here in Bayfield to check out because most of the stores are closed because it's kind of their low season. Summer's when they really start picking up. And this is one of them. And so it's this bridge that goes across this gully. It's kind of beautiful in the snow. It's just something different. It's kind of beautiful. It's kind of, kind of. It's kind of awesome. No, it is gorgeous. It is like magical with the snow here. It feels like an old winter wonderland. Yeah. We were just talking about how the Rittenhouse and just the town itself is probably so pretty in the um, during Christmas time. Yeah, it's all decorated oh, for Christmas. I'd love to see it decorated for Christmas. And then this town is also an amazing town to visit in the summer because there are orchards everywhere. Mm -hmm. So you can pick, um, I believe it's peaches, blackberries, blueberries. There's just tons and tons of orchards, so I would love to come back during that time yes. and take the orchard tour and see everything, all the shops open and boats out on the lake. <laughs> that was an amazing little bookstore. Yeah, it was, well, definitely the best part was their cute little dog named Elton. Yes. So cute. Yeah, the little dog was just roaming around in the bookstore, was so polite to so never chill. bark. Um, and it fit the bookstore perfectly because the bookstore is called the Honest Dog Bookstore. Mm -hmm. And we highly suggest going in there. It was one of the shops that was open on a Sunday. And we definitely did not leave empty-handed. <laughs> no. We have a lot of books on gardening because I want to have a garden one day. So I got some to read up on and research. And we got a good little short book about um, Madeline Island that we just yes, explored did. yesterday so we thought it would be fun to learn a little history about it and um, we found some classics from Mark Twain yeah real old books first editions that was just really they're almost pretty to look they're at beautiful I mean uh, one day having a bookshelf just full of beautiful books and children's stories and uh, it's just I get excited. <laughs> well, thanks guys for coming along with us here in Bayfield, Wisconsin. It was a great first weekend here in Wisconsin, kind of mm -hmm. getting out adventuring. Yes, I'm glad we got to see something. It's a little difficult because it's in between the winter and the summer. Spring. <laughs> yes. Spring's trying to show up, but it was still a wonderful trip to take and super cute. Yeah, we would highly suggest it if you're up in northern Wisconsin. Um, it's just a great little place to go. Try to come here in the summer where you'll be able to get out on the water a little bit more, do oh, some yeah. kayaking. They have tons of beaches. It looks like everyone has a sailboat here. Yep. And so I'm sure it's really pretty and, and a fun place to be. Yes. If you're specifically here in Bayfield, make sure to stay at the old Rittenhouse Inn. Um, that was probably one of the best bed and breakfasts we've ever been to. It really was. Everything was like top notch. We felt really welcomed. We got to know the history and the story behind the place, and it was the price of a hotel room. So, yeah, yeah, it really wasn't too expensive compared to some of the places we've stayed. Yeah. Alrighty, that is it though for us today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss another one of our videos. This has been a fun travel therapy adventure vlog, and uh, until next time, see, see ya! ya. So what we're standing on right now is icebergs, tiny little icebergs that were on the lake superior right behind us. And then since it's all melting and the wind blows this way, it's pushing all the water and these ice pieces are just piling up here on the sandy beach. What a weird world.